In this session, we are going to talk about how to use categorical predictor variables in Smart PLS. Now, let's assume this is my data and I've got uh, a categorical predictor variable, let's say country. And this country here has three categories like I've collected data from China, Pakistan, and Italy. Now, before I use this data in Smart PLS, we cannot use it as we normally use other variables like CSR or loyalty or satisfaction because these are metric variables. They've got an order. In this case, this variable country is a nominal categorical variable. Now, how would you use such a variable which has no order, no ascending or descending order, no weight in the values? So these categorical predictor variables before they are used in smart PLS, they will have to be converted into dummy variables. So this one single variable is now transferred or changed into two more dummy variables, n minus one categories. So in this case, we've got three categories. So we need two dummy variables. Why two? Because the third one will serve as a reference you will compare your results from the other two categories to your reference category. Now, how does this, this work? Before we make a model here in Smart PLS in our new project, what we need to do is we need to create a dummy variable or dummy variables for this nominal categorical variable. In order to do this in SPSS, what we need to do is we need to go to transform and create dummy variables. We need to create dummy variable for country. So we add country and you need to give a root name so that there is one per selected variable that is and this will be, be, be will serve as a root for all the new variables that are created. So let's say I give it a name country and press OK and let's go to our variable view and in the end you will now see that new variables are created this is country one that is china this is country two that is pakistan this is country three that it that is italy but i just said that you just you will have two dummy variables but here there are three variables but i said that one will serve as a reference so now spss or any other software that you use gives you your own choice to which variable you will use as reference. So you, one might use Italy as a reference and then two others in the equation. One might use China as a reference, others two in the equation as a reference. Oh, sorry, China as a reference and other two to compare uh, the results to China. And similarly for Pakistan. Let's rename it them a bit and so that it's easy to understand. Country China, Pakistan, Italy and if you go to data view what you will see here is you see 0 0 1 this means that this respondent respondent number 655 is from Italy see 1 so all these respondents from Italy let's go up these respondents are from Pakistan and these respondents are from China. So this respondent is from China because all other countries are zero. So you need to save this file in CSV format, file save as and we select the format CSV and let's say CSR data, we save it and now import it into Smart PLS. CSR data, okay. Open your model. And let's say we are interested in assessing whether the data or whether country in the study has got an impact on the perceptions towards CSR. So let's rename it. And now we will add country data. So we've got three countries. 
What if we add all of them? Let's see what happens. Let's say we do not keep any as reference. So let's say we rename it as China. We rename it as Pakistan. And we rename it as Italy. Press OK and now link it to CSR here. Pakistan with CSR and Italy with CSR. Now it all, all turned blue. Now let's run the analysis. Let's go bootstrapping. For now, for the sake of the video, let's keep 500. All good. Let's start and see what we get. See, there is a problem. Singular matrix problem. Why is this singular matrix problem? Because a variable has zero variance. It contains only the same values for each observation. Extreme collinearity. So why is this problem? Because you are taking, there is no reference category and there is a problem of singular matrix because two of the columns here have got same values. So there is no variance. So what you need to do is in order to solve this problem, you need to remove one of the categories. Let's say, for the sake of this study, we remove Italy. So Italy will serve as a reference for the other categories. So the results will be compared to Italy. How will we do that? Let's remove Italy first and now let's run our model. Calculate, bootstrap, let's do complete bootstrapping and let's see our results. Okay, the results are showing that China has higher or improved perception of CSR in comparison to Italy because this is positive and Pakistan has a lower perception of CSR in comparison to Italy because there is a negative sign. So China having a better perception or better perceptions towards CSR whereas Pakistan having no perception towards CSR in comparison to Italy. But are these differences significant? Yes, these differences are significant. So let's do another simple model. Mm, let's uh, close it. I've got one here. Okay, let's assume we've got different job ranks. These are categorical variable as well. So we've got junior, middle and senior. So we want to assess whether job rank has an impact on collaborative culture, reliability and organizational commitment. Let's rename it. And we've taken junior level as a reference category. Now let's run the model. Start. And if you look here, what we see and what we are interested in is actually the impact of these job ranks on different variables or these variables, collaborative culture, reliability and commitment. So what we see here is middle level does not impact the collaborative culture, the, the, the coefficient is low no impact no impact but senior level employees have a got have got a significant impact on collaborative culture and their impact is better in comparison to our reference category that is junior level employees because there is no negative sign senior level have a got a significantly higher impact on organizational com commitment in comparison to our reference category so senior level is not influencing the reliability of the service. So this is how you can use categorical predictor variables in smart PLS. Thank you very much.